New Year's Eve. They're open till midnight. That's why I chose this instead of Six Flags Over Texas. They're closing at 10. They're staying open till midnight here. Yeah, the old ticket booths are completely gone. They've been cleared away and you'd never know they were ever here. I'm guessing over there is the ticket booth now, if you need to buy them. Got two rides on Iron Rattler, next to the last row. <laughs> People are flooding the back row tonight. It's like about eight extra trains to get the back row. And next to the last row, you can pretty much get right on once you get up to the station. And that is more like it. Iron Rattler's running great tonight. These rides are back to full strength. This is more like it. I didn't come back to Fiesta Texas for New Year's just so that I could finish the year with the strong rides on Iron Rattler. It's just that the weather is so perfect. It's warm here in the evening. It's at like 10 o'clock and it's in the 70s. And it's gonna be in the 80s tomorrow. And at home, it's gonna be in the 20s tomorrow. So I came down here to escape the cold. Oh, we're at under 30 seconds. Iron Rattler has to close for the fireworks. Just temporarily. fireworks delay first ride of 2022 it was my last ride of 2021 also it was the second last, the last ride of the night but eh, who cares and the last time I'll see this because I'll be gone by the time night falls tomorrow and I'm walking in a hurry because I'm afraid they're gonna get my room away at the hotel this is the second latest ride I've ever had on a roller coaster, 1240. I had a, well, 
actually I had uh, got two rides on Vortex at uh, 1255 and 105. I love this park. Premium parking, that row is as close as they get. We can get two rows closer. So the afternoon high back at home today is gonna be about 25 degrees and here 85 degrees. 60 degree difference between here and home. So from the time I walked up on it at 12.08 to getting off my seventh ride was one o'clock. Seven rides in 52 minutes. So this is a good ride to do early. You can get a bunch of rides, unless it's just a crazy day, which I think New Year's Day is probably not gonna be crazy early. I was thinking this could happen. Probably a lot of people sleeping in from New Year's. So I, I was thinking early could be a good time here. So my first ride of 2022 came at 1245 Iron Rattler. And so my first ride of 2022 was an RMC. Second ride of 2022 is also an RMC. It's 1245 AM on Iron Rattler and then uh, 1210 to one o'clock on Wonder Woman. Everybody has slept in from their New Year's Eve festivities and now they're awake in here. Superman once, then it broke down. Did Poltergeist twice before it built up a little bit of a line. But they're running two trains today, so that helps. Playing some of these symbols on the ground. There's one back there too. Gee, the traffic is to run so they have There's something interesting about the transfer track. I don't know, I don't remember what it is, but I noticed it at one point before. I think there's something different about the track. I can't really tell. Looking through the viewfinder. Is it, is it wood planks on, you know, not true eye box? And I'm done riding for the day. I was planning to leave early anyway. I waited 30 minutes, then 45. It's longer now. But rode the back row for that last ride. It is hauling too. This is probably the best I've ever had it run for me. Although I seem to say that just about every time. And I did not ride this on this visit. I rode it last time, a couple weeks ago. Only ridden it twice, but it is a fun ride. It's not, it's not too intense, it's not crazy. It may look crazy, but it doesn't ride crazy. It's actually a lot of fun, but these are the kind of rides that I'll ride it if I if it doesn't have a weight. But I'm not going to wait a long time to ride it. I'll wait a long time to ride Iron Rattler. I was just about to leave without getting my dinner because all the food lines are like super, super long. But then I found, I found the place right down there. Focus. I found the place right down there. 
and with that, that little building with the green top and they had the pork tamales which I, I'll take that over a burger or chicken strips something a little different that I don't normally have and I'll definitely take rice and beans over fries so I got a better deal and it was no wait at all so if they're ever doing a special food event any kind of taste of the season like at the holidays or Mardi Gras whatever yeah look for those things they may have much shorter lines you well, that's it for Fiesta, Texas. Don't know when my next park visit will be. We're about to head into the deep freeze for a while. But it was fun while it lasted. Dining plan comes to an end tomorrow and Six Flags Over Texas and Frontier City will probably be, probably be closed because I don't think they're breaking freezing tomorrow. So they, they probably just won't even bother opening. But I got a lot of use out of that dining plan over the last year and four months well at home right now it is 20 degrees and out here it's 76 degrees that's why I'm here and not at home